Assalamualaikum dear students uh, my today's topic of uh, uh, organic reaction mechanism is the Robinson and reaction reaction this reaction was performed by uh, Robinson and W.S. Robson in 1935 uh, they were actually preparing uh, uh, substances related to the esterol when they found that the sodium inulate of cyclohexenone reacted with various acyclic and cyclic alpha beta unsaturated ketone were fourth substituted cyclohexenones so actually this uh, reaction uh, is the reaction of a ketone most often a cyclic one with an alpha beta unsaturated ketone to give a substituted cyclohexenone derivative is known as the Robinson annulation reaction the general feature of the reaction are number one it is a combination of three reaction one is the Michael addition, the second one is intramolecular aldo reaction, and the last step is the protonation dehydration. And this reaction can be done both in acid and base catalyzed condition, but uh, predominantly the reaction is conducted under basic condition. Acyclic enones and cyclic ketones afford bicyclic <coughs> enones, whereas cyclic enones and cyclic ketones give rise to polycyclic fused enones. Methyl vinyl ketone MVK and its various derivatives and surrogates are used most often as the enone component can be conducted as a one process but yield tend to be higher when the Michael adduct is isolated and then subjected to the aldol formed uh, enolates or enemy The regioselective cyclization can also be achieved by using preformed enolates or enamines under non equilibrium condition. The annulation can generate as many as five stereocenters. But in the dehydration step, two of these chiral centers are lost. The relative stereochemistry between um, different R can be cis or trans is dependent on the reaction condition. And the enantioselective selective version is known as the Hedgehog's Parish reaction. Uh, so basically, you can see that combination of ketone I said mostly the cyclic ketones and an alpha beta this is alpha beta unsaturated ketone in the presence of based uh, mostly any sodium base and then resulted in a new unsaturated six membered ring now you can see that this is the cyclic ketone so this is the cyclic ketone ring and here is the ketonic oxygen which is dehydrated in the last step and there is another six membered ring generated by using this 
alpha beta unsaturated ketone so again this has become known as the robinson annulation and it is still find use today in many natural product synthesis the process begin with a michael reaction as i told you before and end with an intramolecular and then condense aldol condensation to give the new ring and it is a classic example of a tandem or cascade reaction where an initial reaction provides the starting material for a successive reaction as i told you before mechanism of the robinson annulation is using the simplified example of true propanone and methylvinyl ketone the first step is the michael reaction and the segment in involved in this michael reaction are three step number one is the formation of enolate number two is the conjugate addition and number three is protonation of the new enolate and here you can see the first step is enolate formation I told you in my previous lecture about the enolate formation. The enolate can be formed by a activated methylene group by using the base. The base will extract the acetic proton and the proton will leave its electron on this carbon. Hence, there is a negative charge and this can go into the resonance because of the availability of this double bond and the oxygen charge oxygen can hold this negative charge because oxygen is the most electronegative element and when this electro uh, this uh, negative charge comes to the carbon so this electron will come towards this carbon and form a carbon ion so in the first step the enolate will react to another alpha beta unsaturated ketone and through the conjugate addition the carbon will attack to this sp2 hybrid carbon and this double bond will move towards this bond in the resonance and as you know i have teach you already in my Michael addition reaction that this carbon and this carbon will form a bond and when this charge will come again towards here this charge will come again towards here so it will form this carbon ion which will be protonated by a water molecule and hence it will form a one Five diketone. One, two, three, four, five. One, five diketone. And uh, this is the explanation of this mechanism here. I have already told you the next step. <coughs> Now the next step is actually an intramolecular aldol condensation. Here you can see that when you provide base, when you use base again for this 1,5 diketone, so the base will abstract the acetic proton and form another enolate anion. one two three four five carbon you can see so if this the enolate can be formed here here the molecule is same can be pro, uh, formed enolate like on this carbon or on this carbon or this side this side this side and this side so when the enolate form at c3 so the C3 enolate if react on this electrophilic carbon and form 
a one four a four member train because a four member train has a much more strain so this will be a disfavored product uh, you can see the product will be this one if this will add to this carbon if inulate form here and it will it will attack on this carbon so the ring will be formed is a four membered ring and due to the strain in the ring it is disfavored now if inulate is formed on carbon 1 c1 so now if this in carbon 9 will attack on this electrophilic site the ring will be formed is a six membered ring one two three four five six six membered ring and because six membered ring has less strain comparatively than this four membered ring the six membered ring will be favored and the last step is the protonation of this electronegative oxygen from a water molecule and the base which negative will attack on this proton and the bond will shift here and there will be elimination of a water molecule and you can see the new ring is a alpha beta unsaturated ketone and this is the recent literature of the robinson annihilation i hope i explain it well and you can understand the mechanism of robinson annihilation and uh, the three step of this reaction thank you so much